good morning in this class we are going to see the fundamentals of digital electronics logic gates are the fundamentals of digital electronics before seeing logic gates let us see how this computer accepts the inputs as you know computer cannot accept decimal numbers computer accepts 0 and 1 binary numbers only here 0 and 1 are also numbers then how these 0 and 1 are recognized by the computer as numbers here zero means it is zero voltage one means five voltage zero means zero five means one zero voltage represented as zero and five voltage represented as one zero means it is minimum or off state one means it is maximum or on state here of that whenever whenever i refer minimum means it is zero maximum means it is one in actual circuits we are giving zero voltage or little bit higher 0.5.6 like this and 5 voltage or less than 5 voltage but in modern equipments circuits we are giving less than 5 but from the beginning itself by convention 0 volt means 0 5 volt means 1 in logic gates we have three basic gates first one is or gate first one is or gate here first i write the symbol for or gate this is the symbol for or gate circuit means it is designed by using diodes resistor transistors everything let us see in detail in logic families later on first let us see the symbols and its truth table and how it works according to the logic inputs here a and b are two inputs and y is the output a and b are inputs i oblique p means input a and b are inputs and y is the output o oblique p means output it has two inputs one output now i will define what is or gate as i told you here input means we can give zero or one we can give either zero to this input or one to this input as well as we can give zero or one to this input therefore it is a two input or gate it is a two input or gate that means <coughs> what will be the possibilities the possibilities can be understood by means of this formula 2 power n where n is the number of inputs here two inputs are there therefore 2 power 2 which is equal to 4 therefore we have four possibilities for this two input or gate now let us see the input output possibilities before that i have to define how or gate works functions or gate will give output when either a or 
B. A is that A or B is one. This is the OR gate operation. A is that A or B is equal to one. Then it is equal to one. Now let us see the various possibilities. A is the input, B is the input, O is the output. As I told you, two power two equal to four. There are four possibilities. First one is zero 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 one one zero one one. These are all the four possibilities. Here to easy easily to remember, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three. That means according to the decimal number, it is increasing. That is, it is equal to the decimal. Zero equivalent, one equivalent, two equivalent, three equivalent. Now according to definition, output will be one when either A or B is one. In first case, both the inputs are zero, therefore you are having zero. In the second case, that is second row, this input is one, therefore you are getting one. In the third case, this input is one, therefore this is one. In fourth case, both the inputs are one, therefore you are getting one output. This is the truth table for the. This is the truth table for our gate. Truth table is a table which gives input output possibilities of a gate. Not only our gate, we can say truth table for AND gate, truth table for NOT gate, truth table for NAND gate, NOR gate, like that. Now, this is the OR gate symbol, this is the OR gate truth table. Next, AND gate. Next gate is AND gate. This is the symbol for AND gate. Again, A and B are inputs of AND gate and Y is the output of AND gate. It is again two input AND gate. Here the output will be one. Output is one when A and B are one. Output is one when A, when A and B are one. Now let us prepare the truth table. A input, B input, Y output. Zero zero, zero one, one zero, one one. As per the definition, when both are one, then only output is one. Therefore, in first case. Both are zero. Second case also one is zero. Third case another is zero. Fourth case we have both one. Now this is the truth table for AND gate. Symbol for AND gate and truth table for AND gate. Now the next one. Not gate. This is the circuit symbol for NOT gate. It is also called inverter. It is also called inverter gate. Here one input A and another input Y. One input means definitely there are two possibilities A input, Y output and this is that we are going to prepare to table. If it is 0, output is 1, 
if the input is 1, output is 0. That means just a inversion, that is complement of input. Output is the complement of the input. This R and not three are called fundamental gates. Now, based on these three fundamental gates, we can construct other gates also. First one is NOR gate. First one is NOR gate. NOR gate is a combination of OR gate and NOT gate. That means, as already we have seen, this is the symbol for OR gate and this is the symbol for NOT gate. Therefore, OR gate plus NOT gate is a NOT gate. Now, both are combined together. Let us write one symbol for the NOT gate, which is equal to this one R gate and you put a bubble here this not gate bubble you put here then this is the symbol for not gate this is the symbol for not gate now let us prepare tooth table for the not gate here to remember the not gate tooth table first let us prepare the R gate and then let us make an inversion. We will get a north truth table. A, B and Y. This is R gate output. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. First I will write R gate. After that I invert. Then it will be the north gate truth table. That means 0, 1, 1, 1. This is the R gate to table. Now it should be inverted. That means Y complement. This is the R gate. This is Y complement. Now this is the NOR gate output. Inversion means inverse of this 1, inversion of this 0, 0, 0. Now this is the NOR gate to table. Now if you delete this, this is the actual output. Y equals 1, 0, 0, 0. Actually this is the NOR gate to table. NOR gate symbol and NOR gate to table. And one more gate. NAND gate. One more gate. NAND gate. Here AND plus NOT is called NAND gate. AND gate plus NOT gate. AND gate plus NOT is called NAND gate. Here two symbols are connected together. We can write one symbol as NAND gate and plus bubble will give NAND gate symbol. This is the NAND gate symbol. This is the NAND gate symbol. Now let us prepare the truth table for this. Again I will write First, AND gate and then invert it, we will get a NAND gate. Then we can write NAND gate truth table as one truth table. First, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For AND gate, the output will be 1 when both A and B are 1. Therefore, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is AND gate. If you invert it y bar, we will get 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the output of NAND gate. Now, 
I am right because it is an AND gate and this is an AND gate. We are preparing for NAND gate root table. Therefore, I delete this and I write here. 1, 1, 1. This is 0. Now, this is the root table for NAND gate. This is the root table for NAND gate. So far, we have seen three basic gates and two gates or NOR gate and NAND gate. NOR gate and NAND gates are called universal gates. Let us see in the next class how NOR and NAND gates are called universal gates. Thank you.